Hiya, my name's Tony and I'm just about to tell, show you how to change a drop link and a track rod end. They're all universal, really, um, on most cars, but this particular car is a Corsa C. So a Vauxhall Corsa. First step, take your wheel off. I've got sporty wheels, usually it's a 17 or a 19 mil nuts. Usually use your, your, your wrench out your boot, but I'll get this off and we go to the next step. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to do a drop, to change a drop, drop link and a track rod end. Now, I watch many, many videos that are just so long-winded and I get, I get bored and I'm skipping through them and I'm missing the important parts. So, for, for someone that sort of knows what they're doing and knows how to take wheels off, I'm going to go through this video real quick. I'm going to not skip parts, but I'm going to fly through it so you can quickly watch a video and learn how to change it if you need updating. Now, this is a track rod end. It's perished. If the rubber is perished, that is an MOT failure. I purchased this car with an MOT, yet the rubber has perished and there is too much play on the end of this. This should be so sturdy, you'll see the difference on the new track rod end. Thanks for watching, here we go. Loosen the nuts, one turn each, then jack the car up, then take the nuts all the way off and take the wheel off. When you take the wheel off, I like to put it under the car just in case it comes off the jack. If it comes off the jack, you'll know about it, just to keep it safe. Stop. This is the drop link. Here is a new drop link, as you'll see. To get the old one off, just look at the new one and you'll see this fitment. Here is a 17 mil spanner. You put that on and then you, this outer one is a 19 mil. Hold the spanner in place, turn anti-clockwise. That's how you turn, take this one off. So let's take this one off now. Get your right size spanner onto the size of your inner track rod end and just push it on there and then you'll have to hold that in place unless it gets caught on something then that can do the holding for you. 19 on the front, anti-clockwise and as you see I have to hold it in place and start unscrewing the top nut. A handy tip if you cannot get leverage on the socket is put a spanner on the end as it put leverage and push on the top of the spanner. There you go. After a lot of working at it, it's a very stiff bolt, I had a bit of WD-40 on there. We've got it loose, so just literally undo it all the way and then that'll come off. To get the drop link out, they can be a little bit wedged. So what I'll do is I'll get a, a bar. This one is the uh, ratchet bar. And I will lever it between the drive shaft and this link here. If you get it under there and just simply lever it, you'll notice it comes out pretty easy. Then you can let it go and it can, you can rest it on the track rod end. So yep, yeah, that's the drop link out. And now I'm just going to replace it with a new one. So here you'll see it's held in place. This is the track rod end with no nuts on the end and I'm just going to simply slot, slot that in place. Top one first and then I'm going to loosely put the nut on. I'll show you that quickly. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible so you haven't got to sit here watching it. And then they're quite stiff the new ones but you get it in place quite straight. Lever it back down again. After levering it down with the bar I simply slot the track rod end in and loosely put the nut on the end. Tight. I'm simply going to put do this top one up first now. Find the ridge. You'll, there it is. Push the spanner in, and then clockwise to do it up. And I'm just. You won't really need to put too much pressure on this because they're pretty stiff anyway. But it's there just to stop it turning. Don't let it turn because you don't want to wear it out any sooner. Again. If you put the spanner, find it where it sits, there you go. And then that will hold it in place whilst you do the 19 mil nut up. And there you go, I'm doing it up. Now we've got the drop link in place and done up with the top and bottom nut. I've done it pretty much as tight as I can. So that's solid on there. We're gonna move on to the drop link, which is here. The drop link has a nut here and a nut underneath, which is usually a 19. Get the 19 on there and undo this clockwise. 
it's anti-clockwise from the other direction but if you turn this clockwise that shall loosen off this nut there you go that's off next here is the new track rod end remove the nut remove the plastic cover that comes with it place that down to one side this particular track rod end has a 17 mil bottom nut and it also has a nut that needs to be released here now a lot of people count how many turns they take the track rod end off i don't i just release this half a turn and i know it's got to be put back half a turn so basically if you release this nut that's a quarter of a turn both hands to get that way from there and that's half a turn now this nut has been released half a turn use a 17 ratchet anti-clockwise is undoing to release this and then basically undo the nut until the nut comes off once you have the nut off get a hammer knock it a little bit to the right to the left a bit harder than that and then a really hard, and it might be quite a hard job to get this out, but just a bit of elbow grease, and eventually it'll come out. Now that's one come out a bit easy, but if you've been using the track rod end whilst it's been perished, it will be a lot harder to get out. Simply unscrew the, the track rod end anti-clockwise, make sure the release nut stays in place, so you know how much to screw the track rod end back on. Get the new track away at the end and just simply screw this clockwise back on to the same position as the last one and then once this is done keep in mind that this nut needs to be turned one turn back on but even though you're doing this the car will still need to go and get the tracking done in a local tyre dealership and they will do the tracking and get it all back to the way it should be then point it in the direction you need it and basically slot it back on, get the new nuts and screw it back on. Screw it all the way up as tight as you can and then lock this back into place and then the track rod's back on, the track rod ends back on. Simply put the wheel back on, put the nuts back in the wheel, drop the car down and then tighten the nuts up. Thank you for watching this video, that is how to change quick quick route of a track rod end and a drop link thanks for watching